As I pulled up to the top of the hill, I just happened to see there was an accident scene. Joe and Michelle decided to stop and help. So I jumped out, and right as I got to the corner of the road, there was a gentleman kneeled down next to another gentleman that was on the ground wearing motorcycle gear, and he was white as a ghost. He says, do you have any medical training? I said, as a matter of fact, I do. I'm an ER nurse at Providence. And he said, oh, thank God, something's wrong with his leg. And I looked down, and sure enough, um, the second half of his leg was missing from the lower half down. And the first thing I could think of is we've got to get something to stop the bleeding right away. Normally, we keep trauma-type stuff in the back of our vehicle, but she just we had just bought a new vehicle. And so we took everything out of the old vehicle and we didn't put anything back. So I was just racing. I was running out with rope, dog leashes, all kinds of different things. So I looked down at the male patient and I saw that he had a, like a, a leather belt on. So I took his belt off, put it around the upper part of his thigh so I could cut off his bleeding from there and just wrenched it down as tight as I could um, to stop his bleeding. He had already lost a lot of blood and I was really concerned that he wasn't going to make it. And then a new concern. And I heard the male patient yell out, I love you, babe. And I'm like, oh my goodness, there's another patient. I went over and it was a female patient. And there was a lady stroking her hair, talking to her, just trying to calm her down. And I noticed that she also suffered some trauma. I used the dog leashes uh, to try and make a tourniquet and I was successful. I asked someone to please get me a stick. Uh, they got me a stick so I could twist the tourniquet and get it as tight as I could. Medics arrived. Michelle and Joe just hoped the two would make it to the hospital. They did. And without the tourniquet placement and control of the blood vessel in those legs, these patients may have lost their lives. They both needed immediate blood transfusions. It is literally the difference between life and death. When you have a patient who is bleeding, we need to give them blood. And without this, we may not be able to save their lives. Both Michelle and Joe have military and medical training. Michelle had recently taken a Stop the Bleed course, something she recommends to everyone. Stop the Bleed is an amazing campaign that really breaks it down to the basic element of stopping major hemorrhaging, um, using dog leashes, using <laughs> t-shirts, whatever it is that you have to use to fasten a tourniquet or stuff a wound. This is not a skill that you have to be an emergency department nurse or trauma surgeon to use. You can be any person. Um, Good Samaritan. Good Samaritan that's there to help.